Irish Game Master here, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am going to show you how to get all the free gems you could ever want. Well, first off, the easiest way to get gems is to go to the store and just spend money on it. You can get 400 gems for $5 or you can get 12,000 gems for $100. And of course, an amount of VIP points. But that's not what we're here for today. We are here to figure out how to get free gems. Just like it says at the top right of the screen. Let's tap that. Videos and offers. This will be one of the easiest ways to get gems in the game. The video allows you to watch advertisements for various partner games and apps that you could play. You don't actually have to download anything, you just have to spend 20 to 30 seconds watching a video. Each video will net you five gems. You can do this between 15 and 20 times a day. The offers are obviously for games, apps, services. Sometimes there's um, surveys. There's even one for uh, donations to various causes. And completing any of these offers will get you gems. Most of the time. There are instances where you can complete an offer and you don't get gems. And the red tape to get those gems that you should have gotten it can be quite difficult to go through sometimes. Now, as for playing the game, we're going to go over to here to the missions where you can literally get unlimited gems. This is through the Warlords missions. As you can see, I have Customer's Duty up at top. I have played Casimir's Duty several times. Every time his Warlord mission comes through, it starts over, and I get an additional chance to enter his mission and get 10 gems for every mission I have completed. Now, in the case of, say, Boghog the Glutton, which, opens regular, which also opens regularly, I only get 10 gems for the first time I play each mission. However, with the character Warlord missions, such as Castamer and Gimli, every time you play that mission, you get another chance at getting gems. Now, you only get another chance at getting gems when it reopens. For you to get that chance again, it has to lock once more. Here at the main campaign is the second way to get gems. Every mission first completed in the campaign in either normal or hard will net you gems. As you can see, first completion of every mission gives you 10 gems. We go back. Let's get a quick count of those. Let's see. Every stronghold has 12. Actually, that's a lot more. I don't know. I can count right now. Let's see. You have right here five missions. That's 10 gems each. That's 50 gems just for defeating, just to get to Ragduck the Survivor. So you can get quite a lot of gems by the time you get all the way up to the Overlord Nemesis. The last way to get gems is through the daily missions and achievements. Every time you complete your daily missions, you get 50 gems. That's 50 gems a day, guaranteed. Then there are the achievements. The achievements come in three stars. The first star gets you 30 gems, the second star gets you 60 gems, and the third and last star nets you 120 gems. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 total achievements that we are capable of completing in this game. 
I would like to point out that at the very bottom it says the battle begins, complete the tutorial. This is a special achievement which nets you a total of 250 gems. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there are plenty of ways to earn gems in the game. You simply have to play the game, play the missions, complete the achievements, and you will have all the gems you could ever need. If you like this video, please leave a like and a share. If there is something that you think I missed, or something that you have a question about, please leave a comment below. This is Irish Game Master, over and out.